Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to do a free background check in Massachusetts. Uh, to get started, visit MassachusettsPublicRecords.com. And uh, what you'll notice here is on the home page, I'll have a link in the description. You can click on that or just type it into your browser. On the home page, you'll notice a large database of public record databases available, which can be used uh, when it comes to background checking. I'm also going to talk about how to do a criminal background check in the state of uh, Massachusetts, uh, which would be part two. But uh, let's uh, let's uh, see how you can utilize the, the database on the home page here. Now, my background check, this video is going to be about just everyday types of background checks. So everyday types of background checks that uh, normal uh, everyday people can use. I'm not going to talk about any specific type of a background check, just general tools. Uh, specifically free databases that you have available in the state of Massachusetts. So let's say for an example you want to start a remodeling project in your house and you're gonna put a lot of money into this project and you're looking at hiring a contractor to do this for you. So what you can do is you can look them up uh, by license. For instance you can look them up by business name or maybe the owner's name. You could check is there an actual business there? Um, how long have they had it for? Are they paying everything up on time? How organized are they? Are they making? Is is um, are they renewing on time? Things like that. So there's quite a few things you can pick up on. Uh, same thing with the business. You can research any business. You know, see how long they've been in business. Are there any issues with it? You know, how are, are they renewing on time? Things like that. So you don't maybe necessarily want to put a lot of money down on a business that just opened up, you know, a couple of weeks ago. So you could kind of do your research. Uh, another thing to consider is uh, using civil rec court records and looking specifically for maybe financial types of lawsuits, maybe a vendor or maybe a previous customer is not happy with something and it got so bad to a point where they ended up going to court. And, uh, and so you could use the court system to research information like that. You can look up the business itself, see if the business is, has been getting sued or the individual and, um, and kind of give yourself a peace of mind. Are you working with somebody that's been in business for a long time? Uh, have there been any issues? Um, and, you know, before you hand your money over, kind of give yourself a peace of mind or potentially maybe... Uh, maybe choose not to work with that individual, but it could be this could be done on, on just about anybody that has a license, has a business. Um, there's so many different things you could do with these public databases out there, uh, but it is a, a some it is a type of a background check. There's many different types of background checks out there. This is just one way of using uh, public uh, public data uh, bases um, to your advantage. So the next one would be a criminal background check. Criminal background check is typically the backbone of just about any types of background checks out there. And uh, if you hover over uh, more records, you want to click on inmate search. And um, once you're uh, on the inmate search page, you will notice we covered like the most uh, populous counties in Massachusetts. And uh, what happens, a criminal record is in initiated by when a police department or a sheriff's department arrests an individual, they will get booked, taken to jail, and charged with like a particular crime. And so what happens is uh, they will either pose bail, sometimes they'll get released, sometimes they'll sit in jail, and then they'll have to see a judge. But everybody has to go through the court system. So that's where you can catch uh, this information, this criminal information. Now you can also, depending on the uh, on the on the sheriff's department or whoever is running the the jail, typically the local sheriff's department, you can also research some of some of this arrest information. Now, not every single one will necessarily give you like an online database, but you can, uh, if if they don't have one, just like I just researched one now, you can also make a a request, like a Freedom of Information Act request, and uh, get the. Uh, that that information uh, using using like a manual request if that's something truly needed uh, but uh, one of the main things tools you have available to you is uh, is going to be a court record and as you can see uh, Massachusetts has multiple multiple courts anything from the appellate court 
to land courts and each of these courts does a specific job so if you're if we're looking at for instance felony information and uh, lower level crimes information uh, you're looking at superior courts district court boston municipal um and well that's about it so you're looking at mainly superior and district courts and so we have a link that you can click on and if I can just get through this very quickly I can show you what it looks like on the inside and almost there okay so again you have uh, you have you'll have to select uh, for instance we got district and superior so these are the main two courts we're focusing on then you'll have to select the district or if you select superior you'll have to select the county and so uh, the the downside of doing a criminal search using the court records is they don't actually let you research this information uh, through by name so for instance as you can see if I am trying to do a name search case types it's pretty much small claims and civil now in, in, in when you're doing background checking some of these can be very important because for instance if you are researching an individual say you want to do uh, a deal with somebody uh, or maybe you want to hire somebody this information is going to be also important or maybe you want to you're dating somebody you want to see if uh, they've been divorced or something like that uh, you can you can look this information up uh, you know for instance like using family court and, and, and things like that so a lot of these things can be researched for free these are free databases and uh, you can use name the problem with the criminal aspect of is is uh, they will let you search you can select criminal but the problem is they only let you search by dates and so that limits you that limits you uh, in this particular database now you can get around it because they have what what are called on-site public uh, terminals and so you can just show up at uh, like a courthouse or you can uh, get in contact with the court of clerk's office and figure out where they have these terminals and these are literally special research computers that they have on site in, in like courthouses or maybe a particular office at the court of clerk's uh, uh, facility uh, where you can come in and research court information for free so maybe you do have to jump through some hoops not every single state makes it this difficult but uh, you know you you got what you got so and I'm just sharing how you can get it done if you if you um, if you want to do it for free so the public terminal is the way to go or you're searching by dates um, or if you're searching uh, civil and small claim information obviously that you can access online um, and so just depending on what type of background check you're doing uh, next thing that happens is uh, there's going to be a guilty or no guilty verdict uh, sometimes people will just pay a fine sometimes they will have to go uh, into like a jail or a prison so over 12 months sentence is typically going to be a prison and uh, the Massachusetts Department of uh, Department of Corrections uh, will deal with that and they have actually a, a link here where you can find an inmate or you can submit a public records request uh, to get this information another database to consider is uh, also going to be the uh, the sex offender registry and um, I'm not necessarily going to get into it but it is a statewide system and when it comes to background checking it's an important one and it's also uh, free of charge so uh, look into that so <clears throat> there we go I just highlighted uh, some of the ways you can use public record databases some of the ways you can find criminal information uh, some of the ways you can research family uh, records civil information things like that and a, a lot of these databases uh, can be used for free even though in some cases uh, you do have to jump through some hoops but those are your options and uh, um, another thing I wanted to mention is a name search here now this is not a free database what uh, what what it does is it pulls records from public records court records real estate information criminal information arrest information also financial information things like bankruptcies uh, potential uh, fi financial lawsuits uh, it also has access to private databases things like cell phone records previous addresses 
things like that. But it doesn't just pull records from the state of Massachusetts. It goes outside the state as well. So it kind of gives you like a nationwide look into someone's historic past. And it compiles all this information into a single search system. So you're able to pretty much almost instantaneously see if the individual you're researching has any records out there. So you'll quickly figure out that this is going to be a useful tool for you. Uh, what's also great about it is let's say somebody has a, uh, some history, say, in the state of Washington or Tennessee, and they're living in Massachusetts now, uh, you're able to, uh, you're not, if you're just searching at the county level or the local level in Massachusetts, you're not necessarily going to see what happened in Washington or Tennessee or any other states for that matter. So it just gives you an opportunity to kind of get that big picture view see maybe the previous addresses, things like that. So uh, with that said, visit MassachusettsPublicRecords.com and get started on your free background check in the state of Massachusetts. Thank you.